Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? to be back what we're gonna do today first off um we are now powered by pro tools 2019 and uh it feels good because um you know maybe uh errors related to the fact that uh you know the uh daw you know digital audio workstation that I'm running um, wasn't quite up to date or up to speed with uh, the operating system that I currently have installed on my machine because uh, I'm cool like that, you know? I like to update my stuff without making sure all my software works, you know? Sometimes that's how, sometimes that's how things go, depending on what you use. But um, Anyway, uh, regardless, uh, it's nice. Um, you know, this is the new uh, interface. Looks good. Uh, works really well. And, um, you know, looks just exactly the same as it did before. Um, but uh, some minor issues like importing audio and doing things of that nature. Uh, things that I ran into on the previous version no longer happen. So happy to report that uh, the new version is, is working well. And uh, thanks to Avid and uh, the team uh, behind the Pro Tools product, um, you know, for keeping keeping me alive, keeping me running over the years. So at any rate, um, what we're going to do today is patch together a new instrument that is going to continue the tradition of going over some of the blocks that we really haven't been able to go over that much so far. So um, today we're going to look at an oscillator called the Brussellator. Um, this is a chaotic uh, grain generator, partially based on the Brussellator slug gen. It emulates a chemical reaction that typically dies off quickly. Occasionally it can oscillate. It has the internal impulse generator that, generator that rapidly retriggers its initial. Um, it rapidly retriggers its initial conditions. The reason for this is because it frequently dies off to zero values in a way. It's a biological granular generator. Uh, frequency is the perceived frequency. Delta is a calculation rate. Regen is the speed of the internal impulse. Disturb adds Gaussian randomization to the impulse. All four of these controls will affect the perceived frequency. The gamma and mu controls work in concert to determine timber, 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 and whether or not the system will self-oscillate. If you regen to zero, it will turn off the internal impulse generator. The reset output can be used to manually trigger the system if uh, you can combine both reset input and the internal generator. So chaotic outputs, um, trigger output, uh, outputs a trigger whenever the system is reset. This is equal to the sum of the internal impulse generator, the seed panel control. So I wonder, um, this, I wonder how we can, how we can hear this guy. So let's try to just see if we can so it looks like we're getting some audio from it. So let's go ahead and patch it in and see what we got.
Very cool. So obviously the different controls uh, control, you know, either frequency or, you know, timbre and just overall the way it sounds. So what I have is the pitch uh, going into the uh, modulation A input um, and then using the modulation to control the frequency. And then from here, I mean, any of these controls can then be modulated. So it would be cool to use the mod wheel. Let's actually see if we have some stereo filters. I think a DJ filter. All right, cool. So um, let's see about getting a mixer situation set up in here. And then we'll get, um, you know, some other flavor in here as well. Let's see about just the regular toy box oscillator. <clears throat> and then let's go with the note sequencer. And let's get a clock divider in here as well. Let's turn this down a little bit and give ourselves some room to think. And then um, what we want to do is start setting up some notes for this guy. So this is going to control the pitch. And um, then what we also want to do is just get a basic envelope set up. 
and also a VCA. So let's go ahead and get this going here as well. And uh, go ahead and set the gate up here for the envelope. And then the envelope will control the VCA. And then we'll set this actually um, this first oscillator will be set to number one. We'll set the second oscillator to number two. And uh, we should be getting some sound, I would think. So let's just patch this into the second. Yeah, so far. So far, nothing. But what we're going to do is that's running the gate there so we're going to let the note sequencer control the gate for the envelope and then start getting some notes
Until next time.